Good afternoon, everyone. Look mainly over France and Germany at the massive floods that swept through last month. Gargantuan sandstorms blowing off of Western Africa, swirling so much even up into Europe. University of Huntsville, Alabama satellites showing the second largest drop in the satellite era. IPCC seems to think that solar variations don't matter and our sun has no effect on our climate. We're rolling into the ninth day now with no sunspots. This should not occur at least until 2019. It's years ahead of schedule. European Space Agency forgot to put zero sunspots last week. Now they updated their charts. It is time for Clexit. We need to exit that Paris Climate Treaty. Everybody out. The final totals that came through for the 130-year rain events in Germany and the 100-year floods across France. This is the map here. You can see the distribution of water. An image here of the Seine River drainage basin inundated during that time. This chart looks back over the last 12,000 years of rainfall in that particular area. Green means drier. Red means wetter. They measured the lake core sediments. The more runoff into the lake and the thicker the layer, the heavier the rainfall. So you can see the distribution here. And notice how minimal we are on the very far right side, how minuscule the amount of rain was. A look from space at the dust storms blowing off of Western Africa. Aerosol concentrations from the NASA Earth Observatory. It's so massive the dust storms coming off here that it's actually swirling up into Europe. Additionally, the Middle East also having massive dust storms. They're blowing southeast straight into what used to be the cyclone, and that massive wind tore the storm apart, took it from a cyclone down into a tropical depression. But the amount of wind moving through the circulation patterns of our atmosphere is definitely changing. Speaking of change, the lower tropospheric temperature measurements from University of Huntsville, Alabama, the same satellite data set that global warmists always say warmest year ever, now shows the second largest drop off in temperature in the satellite era. If you're more of a numbers person, here you are. Noticeable cooling across the tropics and the southern hemisphere. Ninth day with no sunspots. This should not really be occurring until 2019, early 2020, when we start rolling toward the very bottom of the solar cycle. It's years ahead of schedule. The European Space Agency last week didn't even have zero sunspots for their count. Now they updated their chart. They have the correct zero count. Now notice how many days have been zero this month alone. Staying on the sun. Well, the IPCC doesn't think the sun has any effect on our climate. It doesn't matter. So they keep going with their defunct models. Yet there's report after report showing that there is an effect of the sun's energy on our planet. And for the IPCC to disregard these reports, that is fraud in itself. Example from the NRC report here lays out some surprising complex ways that solar activity can make itself felt on the planet. Wahrenholt and Luning, also human-induced CO2. Warming is overstated, but they forget the influence of the Earth's climate from the sun. Svensvark, also stating that it's going into a hibernation and what the significant effects on the Earth will be. Obvious, but not known down to the nth degree of what will happen. This next solar cycle, if we are going into a grand solar minimum, the cosmic rays are going to come flooding in as our magnetosphere leaves no resistance for this. For an example, the neutron monitor, I'm just forecasting out to 2019 and 2020, just following the curve up. Svensmark work is very clear. Grand solar minimum, Increased cloud cover, albedo effect, it's a feedback loop where it's heavier snows, heavier rains, more cloud cover, cooling earth temperatures, yet the IPCC doesn't even want to 
take a look at this. This is also a new report out 2015. Jorge Sanchez Sisma talks about cosmic rays and terrestrial patterns. Charts he puts here, he studies 9,000 years of climatic record on what the sun has done and the intensity of the sun on this planet. Puts out a forecast that we're going to cool as well. So many people coming out saying it's cooling, yet IPCC says it, the sun doesn't matter. Only one solution for this, Clex it. Everybody needs to get out of the Paris Climate Treaty. The United States should lead the charge. These brainchilds at the IPCC would rather have you freeze and starve while you continue to debate whether CO2 has an effect on the climate instead of getting ready for it. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. More and more voices are chiming in saying grand solar minimums here. You can choose to believe whoever you want to. I'm just presenting the information.